Okay, in this video, we're gonna show you how to actually make the best chicken in the world. To do that, we're gonna set the fryer up, starting on the controller, and our cook time can be adjusted using this function. So we hit the time twice. We type in our time, so 930 is what we need for our nine cut chicken right now. Press enter and it saves it. We use the same method for the temperature setting. Hit that twice. 360, enter. And it saves the temperature. Okay, so we know that our oil's hot because our screen is showing green, ready to cook. Our basket handle is in, and now we can bring the chicken in and load it into the fryer. I'm gonna start by loading the larger pieces of chicken first, and then followed by the smaller ones. And that gives the bigger ones a bit of a head start, allows them to begin the sear process, and then we can get down to closing the well and letting it cook throughout. And I'm just breaking the surface of the oil with the chicken and letting it drop. We chose 360 degrees because it completes a really good sear on the outside of the chicken, while also being a good temperature to maintain throughout the cook cycle and cook it all the way through to about 170, 175 degrees internal temperature. And the nine minutes, 30 seconds is based on us having chickens that are between 1.4 to 1.8 kilograms. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna remove my glove so we can keep the handle nice and clean. Two hands, we shake the basket as vigorously as we can. Just separates the chicken to avoid sticking. And we get a nice, perfect finish on all the pieces. Let the basket rest. Use the button to remove the handle. Hang it in the front holder. And we pull the lid shut, flip it over, and lock the cooking well, which starts the timer. It locks the pressure valve, and it also locks the drain valve so we can't accidentally open that during a cook cycle. And we're on our way. See you on the other side. The broaster is gonna beep at us in three seconds, signifying the end of the cook cycle. When it does that, I'm gonna slowly open the cooking well with the pressure valve release. That removes all the pressure from the cooking well. Out the back, escape there. Our cooking well is still locked, so we can't open it unless we intentionally push down. And now it's unlocked. Flip it over, and we can push it back with one hand. Get our handle ready for the basket. Clip it in without it pressing any buttons. Give it a little shake in the oil. And then we can come up and rest it on the peg, and our chicken's perfect. Lower the handle, we're ready to tip. I'm gonna let some oil drain off, and we're gonna go straight over to the pan and dump the chicken out. Five seconds left here just to let the oil drip off. And now we're gonna go over to the pan. All right, and that's how we make the best chicken in the world. Uh, nine minutes and 30 seconds, bone in, right from raw, fully cooked and ready to serve. From there, we can go into our perfect hold cabinet, or we can go right onto a plate or into a takeout box for our customers. In front of us we have some of the many items you can cook in a broaster pressure fryer. Starting with our chicken wings, single coated, you can also double coat them. We have our chicken tenders, you can do single or double coat on those. We have our single coated nine cut chicken, we have our double coated nine cut chicken for that extra crispy crunch, and then we also have potato wedges that were cooked for six minutes and 30 seconds from raw. All this food was prepared fresh, it was all marinated for the poultry end of it, and it can all be done over and over with incredible consistency and repeatability every time you fire it up. So these are the things you can expect out of us with our equipment and our condiment line. And if you're interested in more information on this, you can find us at kendale.ca or on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.